Howdy folks, and welcome back. You are tuned into another episode of Trains with Shane on the I Saw It Online YouTube channel. I want to wish you guys a happy new year. We are just now getting started on 2022. I hope everyone uh, had a good, safe New Year's with minimal hangovers or side effects. Um, I'm recording this on New Year's Day. And uh, let's get 2022 started off with uh, something new. So, what I've got here, as you guys can probably tell through the bubble wrap, is a Kato SD70 ACE Union Pacific number 1988 MKT Heritage Unit. Um, Kato just uh, reproduced these. They made another run. Um, I have been wanting to get one for quite some time, but until this run happened, I wasn't willing to pay three or four hundred dollars for one, especially one that's DC or DCC ready, without a decoder is what I'm saying. Um, these currently, right now, as of January 1st, um, I've seen them in various locations between about $95 and $115 US, um, shipping and taxes notwithstanding. But to me, that's a lot better than 300 bucks. So I bought one as soon as I saw one online. And uh, let's take a look. Longtime followers of the channel will know that MKT was my home railroad growing up just north of Carrollton, Texas in the 80s. Um, I don't recall ever seeing anything in the in either of the old red colors, which is what the heritage unit here represents. Um, everything I always saw was the, uh, the green and yellow, which is still my favorite. But looks pretty good in the box. No, uh, no greasy paw prints yet because I have not had this out of the box yet. Uh, we are unboxing this thing together. So let's see if we can gently coax her out here. Pretty easy. Of course, it's sitting on a uh, little packaging base here to uh, keep everything secure. Alright, let's get a brief little flyby here and we'll get into some details. Okay, so as you can see it comes with Kato's pretty standard uh, couplers. Um, they are not magnetic but I'm sure those can be swapped out for micro trains or your magnetic coupler of choice. Let's see if I can get this in the in the reflection here. The paint is nice and opaque. The coverage looks pretty good. A little bit of orange peel. You guys can see in the is that the darker of the reds? Yeah. You can see it in the light there the uh, the lighter red looks like it went on a tiny bit smoother or it could just be that the uh, darker red is slightly more um, gloss so it just might be reflecting more light um, our handrails pretty pretty fine but they're they're surprisingly rigid for as small as they are um, Usually N-scale handrails tend to have a little bit of give to them. This appears to be pretty solid. Let's see if I can get you a zoom in here. I found that this uh, camera phone here works really well when zoomed. Let's get on that logo. Missouri, Kansas, and Texas lines. You can actually read it under magnification. That is pretty cool. Of course, road number 1988. Um, 88 is when um, Missouri Pacific and, by extension, um, MKT 
joined Union Pacific. Let's see if we can get a good, probably won't be able to get a good focus on this warning label there, not with the camera anyway. Nice detail on the trucks. Brake cylinders look good. A little molded in chain detail there that is not separately applied, but pretty nice um, out of the casting. You could probably weather or paint that up and have it look very, uh, very real. Blackened wheels, as Kato likes to do. Little warning labels all over the place here. They look okay. I'm going to have to get these under a, uh, a real magnifying glass or something to see if I can see if they're legible under magnification. The Katie logo here. The lines are sharp, but it looks slightly fuzzy due to the texture in the paint. Can you guys see that? roll it through into the shadows here looks pretty good uh, not perfect again I think it's the texture of the paint it's got the with that orange peel in it it's making the the parting lines look a little fuzzy but not too bad back here to our Union Pacific logo get that in the in the light and then out of the light so you can see the difference Building America. Warning labels galore. Radiator vents look okay uh, for an end scale. The molded in detail is pretty good. You could probably carefully paint that or weather it and have it look really nice. Um, a lot of depth into it for a molded in piece. Back here we have molded in grabs. No separately applied pieces in that regard. A rear pilot here. Looks good, again, more molded in detail. We've got our air hoses here. Body mounted coupler. Let's roll back to the front here real fast and look at the front pilot. Looks like we've got a plow molded in. Is that molded in to the plow? Yeah, it is. Uh, looks like the, the MU hoses are molded into the um, plow and likewise probably into the front of the pilot as well. No, it looks like they're just molded into the plow. You could probably easily swap that out for a uh, for a detailed part and add quite a bit of realism on it. Got ditch lights here. I think this is my first locomotive with ditch lights, guys. Um, I typically model older stuff back before that time. So, pretty cool to have something with ditch lights. Number boards look nice. UP. Got some molded in um, wipers. No sunshades. But the window frames look good. So, let's flip around to the other side. I'm imagining we're going to see pretty much a mirror image. separately applied brake handle that's cool molded in plastic red words are hard molded in red plastic it looks like it does not look to be painted i'd probably see if i could uh, wiggle that off and paint it if it were something i was going to detail same with the uh, the horn here molded in red plastic looks like uh, That looked like it uh, has a little flash on it there, guys, on the front of that chime closest to the camera here. I'm going to have to look at it under real magnification, but again, molded in red plastic. It's kind of hard to see the details. They're kind of washed out, but again, something a detail part could easily fix for little, little money if that was your thing. 
Got our communications gear and stuff. Sand filler hatch, apparently those are molded in as well. They don't look to be separately applied. No painted uh, details on the tank. You could take some red paint and dab the, uh, the fuel gauge and the filler cap there if you wanted to. All right, so very nice looking unit. Um, let's get this over onto the switching layout in the tradition of Trains with Shane. We're going to see what it does and what it doesn't do. I'll see you over there. All right, guys, we're over here on the switching layout with the uh, SD70ACE Heritage Unit from the KD MKT. Let's uh, turn on some power, pick a direction, and slowly dial it in. I want to see how a brand new production Kato unit performs because, as far as I know, this is the newest. Uh, locomotive I've ever purchased in regards to it being produced and then I bought it new um, I've, I've purchased a lot of new old stock before as you guys know all right 10% 20 25 30 40 50 here we go she's creeping nice and slow and then she stops. Um, I'm running a uh, just a standard DC controller here, guys. Let's dial it just a little bit more. Oh, there she is. Probably about 60% on my little battery-powered Roku Han controller. And the Katie is on the rails. No trouble through the turnouts two of them. I can't even hear it. Very quiet at low speeds, no grumble. Uh, I don't know if Kato units require a break-in or anything, but this thing is performing great. Okay, let's stop it there. Reverse direction, still at the same power. Again, creeping nice and slow. Let's dial in a little bit more power. There's our rear headlight. You can hear the motor a little bit there. It kind of sounds like an electric shaver. Let's see if we can get a shot of the headlight. Oh, and ditch lights. Nice. Let's see, you can definitely hear that motor. Back again. See what we get at full trot here. Whoa. She really moves out. Sorry about that jump cut, guys. Phone ring. So, very nice little unit here. Not surprising. It's brand new Kato. Um, I'm just glad they're making another run of them. Let's see if we can bring this back over here to a uh... oh, camera. back over here and park it right here Boop. yep nice unit I expect nothing less from Kato glad they uh, remade remade these so I didn't have to pay three or four hundred dollars for one so if you are a fan of MKT or Union Pacific or SD 70 ACEs or anything I really highly recommend picking one of these up. So I want to thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Trains with Shane rolling into 2022. Uh, what do we have coming? Well, um, if you guys watch the layout video, I've got some more video recorded on that. Um, I'm waiting on parts to arrive. So once those are done, I'll finish that up and put that video out. And I will see you guys on the next one.